Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So now we are going to discuss about a another branch of the AI which is your NLP. So now we are going to discuss about that what is the NLP and uh, what like what kind of a different branch in the NLP and uh, what kind of a different use cases that we have in the NLP okay again we are not writing any kind of a code we are not going to uh, we are not going in the depth of algorithms we will just see that how we build this kind of a model a, a overview basically right so first of all, if we talk about the NLP, a natural language processing, again, it is a branch of the AI. So it is a branch of the AI, which mainly, or which is deal with the text data. Nowadays, after this uh, social media things, nowadays we have the data a lot of data is in the text format before the social media things we had the data but it is very limited we had the data mainly in the form of the row table format but once the social media came we have like a lot of social media platform like we have twitter facebook instagram any other whatsapp is one of them so after getting this data, after getting these this platforms, our users are generating a lot of text data. So when we have the lot of text data, so definitely we need, so for example, on this text data, I want to build some kind of AI. So when we have the text data and I want to build some kind of AI system for this text data, definitely the the way that we build the model in the NLP is going to different than the model that we have in the in the machine learning. In the machine learning, if you see these things in the machine learning, we have a branch of the AI which deal with the text data as i mentioned that after getting this uh, social media thing so now we have a lot of data is in the textual format and uh, we need to process this text data to build some kind of a recommendation models to understand the behavior one of the huge case is the sentiment classification sentiment classification so nowadays, many companies which are the customer centric, so these companies are try to understand the customer sentiment about the product. Like I recently see this thing with the Domino's. So I ordered one pizza from Domino's and I found that like the topping is not that much good. And also the quality of pizza is that wasn't that great. So what I did is that I just gave the feedback. I just mentioned that uh, the pizza quality was not good. No topping. Uh, the only in the, in the name of the topping, I had I found only tomatoes. So I give this kind of a feedback. I only give the feedback. I don't, don't I didn't give any kind of a rating. So I give this only feedback, and maybe they are behind the scene. They are using some kind of a machine learning models. So once I give this kind of a feedback. Within the half an hour, I got a call from the, uh, the, the, the the respective store and they told me this what was the issue. We saw that you give the negative feedback. Then I explained the things and they found the resolution. So all these companies which are the pretty customer centric, they use this kind of a sentiment classification models. Apart from these things, we have uh, topic modeling kind of things is also in the uh, in the market which is comes under the natural language processing task maybe you heard you have seen these things that uh, when you search a 
a particular news or a particular article in the Google search. Once you search these things in the Google, after the search, Google starts giving you the similar kind of articles. Have you observed these things? Like for example, I just search a news about the uh, about the elections. Okay. Just imagine that I just simply search or the Google is about that what is the exit poll results or what is the results in uh, elections. So once you do the search in the Google, next time you will see that in the recommended search, in the recommended articles, Google start recommending you the same kind of articles. Have you observed these things? Yes. So this is a, a, yes. again a NLP applications. They try to find out the topics from the article. Google is doing these things in build. They try to find out the topic mentioned in this article and create the, create the some kind of a cluster of these articles. A, a cluster of these articles which have the similar topics. Similarly, we nowadays we have some kind of intelligent chatbot is also in the market. Like for example, if you ch you can check with the Make My Trip chatbot. For example, if you write this this uh, chat, that could you book morning flight morning flight for coming Monday. coming Monday from Delhi to Bangalore. So the thing is that uh, I, so this is the, this is the user, user chat with the chatbot, which is a flight base, which is a flight booking chatbot. So if you see these things, to book a flight, my chatbot need the time, date, source and destinations and in the, in the in a particular kind of a format but here the user mentioned the things in the properly an unstructured format you can see that it is a totally unstructured format he just mentioned the simple chat the way that we used to do so when you have this kind of a unstructured data so we use this unstructured data and convert into the structured data as per the my client requirement. So now what we are doing here is we are from this unstructured data I will build some kind of NER model we call it as NER. NER stands for the named entity recognition. So we call it as a named entity recognition so my requirement is that I have to fetch out the entity which is required to book a flight here my morning is is the is the entity which depict that time morning means that 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday is the date so, so today is the Monday. So the next Monday will be the 11th of December. Source is my Delhi. And Bangalore is my destination. So this is a, again, a, my NLP task to get the entity, get the relevant entity from the model. So this is also comes under the NLP. We help, we process the text data. Now we will see that what kind of a different NLP uh, processing techniques, processing we have. So one thing that we have is the lexical processing. So one type of NLP, we call it as a lexical processing. So in the lexical processing, what we are doing is we are focusing on the words only. So while discussing about the lexical processing, we are only discuss about the we are only discuss about the words like for example 
I have a sentiment that I I have a senti- I want to build a sentiment model. So I have a feedback about the movie. So feedback is what a lovely movie. So when I'm say when I'm writing a feedback that what a lovely movie. So definitely it is a positive feedback. So my question to you is to make this sentence to find this sentence as a positive sentence so do you think that entire this uh, four words we need or <coughs> one or two words are sufficient so basically in our case lovely is sufficient to tell that this word is this uh, so this uh, this uh, feedback is the positive feedback right so if you see these things the a word these are the words we use to build the sentence but to find the sentiment find the sentiment lovely is the sufficient if a word contain the lovely maybe it will be a positive sentence the more chance is that it will be a positive sentence similarly like uh, we have other use cases where we are only focus on the words so in the lexical processing it is a type of nlp where we focus on the words so now when we are focusing on the words so we need a requirement we need a requirement to extract this kind of words because we are only focus on the words to f- extract this kind of a words or uh, or to extract some kind of a special words or remove these words to find these words and remove it we use the regex so may, uh, maybe like you, you have seen this regex things so regex is nothing what stands for the regular expressions <laughs> so regular what is this regular expression so regular expressions are the kind of expressions which is nothing but having the set of rules which is useful to extracting the information from the text data we use some kind of uh, special characters some kind of notations to design this regex to find a particular words find out a particular words which follows a particular pattern like for example mobile number so we know that like for example you have the text data where you have to find out the mobile number so definitely you cannot uh, you cannot do the if else conditions so you are going to use the regex to fetch the mobile number and the condition for the mobile number is that it always be a 10 digit it always be a 10 digit and also the starting part will be start from the 6789 so this is the regex for the mobile number so we have to use some kind of a notation to meet this criteria similarly i want to fetch out the email ids from the model so what i will do is email id is also having the a special pattern that start from the username and then at the rate then domain name then dot com dot co dot in like these things so all these things we can fetch it from the my regular expression as i mentioned that it contains some kind of a rules the rules is nothing but which which comes or which create using some kind of a keywords like for example if i use this cap symbol it means that beginning of the line means that for example i'm looking for a word i'm looking for a word which start from the which start from the uh, uh for example cd so we can write these things cap cd so i'm looking for the for the word which start from the cd <coughs> similarly if you want to see for that you are looking for the words which end from the a specific pattern like for example i want to fetch out the words 
which end with the ing so i can do the ing dollar if you are looking for a word which can be any characters like for example you have the condition that a word should start from the a then at the second third and the fourth position any character any number is possible so you can just mention the dot and then if you want the end with the some special character some, the number then you can mention this but if you want to mention the position where it can be anything you can mention the dot similarly to use the white space forward slash s to use the zero or more times use the asterisk plus is for the one or more time occurrence and if you want a special words you can put into the you can put it into the uh, in, into the rectangle bracket these are words if you want to start the writing for in the sequence manner like you want the words from a to z so one way is that you can write the a b c d like this thing but it is not a good approach so we can simply mention that a hyphen z which is cover the entire sequence from a to z similarly you are looking for a number which uh, looking for only the numbers so it can be start from the 0 to 9 so the thing is that uh, regular expression is quite helpful techniques definitely data engineering part maybe you are using these things data validation team is also using these things to find out a proper a word which is having some patterns okay so this is your regular expression now the next thing is your vectorization this is important concept guys so please pay attention so now we are discussing about the vectorization so what is this vectorization so the thing is you also have you are also aware that my machine only understand the numbers right so even though if we talk about our laptop the operating system is something which convert my instruction whatever the thing that we're doing on the laptop my operating systems convert these things into some binary instructions in the form of the zero one so the thing is that uh, my machine learning models if i talk about because from the ai perspective my machine learning models only understand the data in numbers so but in the nlp all my data is in the form of the text data so now we need a technique we need a technique to convert this text data into some kind of a numbers format and for these things we are calling it as a vectorization we will create a vector of the word to represent this word by the numbers and one of the technique is the bag of the words bag of the words is is a quite uh, old technique but this give the foundation of your vectorization so what we have in the bag of words in the bag of words we are creating the bag of all my words all my unique words so let's take these things with an example i have the two example where i have the i have the first sentence it was the best of times i have the one sentence it was the best of times i have the second sentence which mentioned that it was the worst of times and now I want to represent these things with the number so first of all i will create the bag of my unique words so unique words are it was the best of times worst then i will check from the for the sentence one for the sentence one if it was present yes it is present in the sentence one was present yes it is present the present yes the present best present yes best is present keep it one so if the value is present we are keeping it one if the value is absent or value is not present we are putting the zero okay so it is there one was there one that was there one best was there one 
then off is also there keep it one then times is there keep it one verse is not present in my sentence one then i will put the zero so for the sentence one this is my vector representation so now i have convert this sentence into this kind of a number representation and now i will pass to the my machine learning model i will pass to the my nlp model to perform the predictions or to build the model similarly for the sentence 2 for the sentence 2 that it was the worst of the time so it is present yes was present yes the present yes best is not present zero off is present yes times is present yes worst is present yes so this is the sentence two representation okay so the main purpose of this uh, uh, this bag of words is nothing to perform the vectorization so the thing is as i mentioned that this bag of words was very early vectorization technique so we have some lot of drawbacks of the bag of words first of all like uh, in this bag of words we are creating the bag of the unique words and then represent by the numbers if the if this word is present then keep it one and zero so the thing is in the real times we have like huge data like if you talk about the documents articles so so the size of the bag of words is going to be very very high this is the one limitation another limitation is if a new words came in the data so my bag of words will not be able to label it because this data is not present in the bag this is another issue then next problem is that this bag of words by doing this bag of words we are losing the grammatical we are losing the grammar of this sentence by creating this bag of words we cannot say that this is the present tense past tense or what kind of sentence it is there is an informative sentence so so grammatical structure of the sentence is also missing but again it is a very powerful and the basic techniques to perform the vectorization and then we saw the another technique that is the In the case of the TF-IDF, again, it is a vectorization technique, and as it is a vectorization technique, so the purpose of the TF-IDF is also to convert a sentence into the numeric representation. So here, TF stands for the term frequency, and IDF stands for the inverse document frequency. So here also, this is a formula base. So TF IDF is a formula base. So we are calculating the TF score. <coughs> we are calculating the TF score. We are calculating the, the formula for the TF is that number of times the occurrence of the word I in the J document. So how many times that I word I came in the document J. So we are checking these things with the TF. We have the formula for the IDF. We have the formula for the IDF is log of n divided by DFI. So where n is stands for the number of documents and DFI is number of documents that contain the I. So this is the formula base. We are not going in the deep of these things, why this formula came. So this is the again formula base and calculating the things. Okay. So now this uh, TF IDF or the or the bag of words, they are very limited vectorization technique. Once I just convert these things, once I take these things. 
at the document level at the paragraph level at the kind of research paper level we here we have multi page document this tf id of things or or this bag of words is not the good is not the good vectorization technique and this is where her we got the new concept which is the word embedding so what is the word embedding the purpose of the word embedding which is the which we also use in the generative ai so we use the advanced level vectorization technique which is the word embedding so what is the meaning of the word embedding word embedding meaning is to reduce the size of this vector without losing the context for example for example i have a i have the i i have a para, i have a two line sentence like let's for example obama obama delivered speech on on peace uh delivered on peace he mentioned he mentioned israel war for example so now as I, as i mentioned that as i mentioned that uh, every words will have the uh, some kind of a vector representation so now what happening is the tf id for the word bag of words obama and the he will have the different embedding because both are the different <laughs> both are the different words but from this sentence you can easily say that that he is nothing but mentioning the obama am i right so whatever the embedding that we have for the whatever the vector representation we have for the obama he can also have the same representation apart from these things the embedding for the king male why will have the same embedding as compared to, uh, that similarly queen female girl they will have the same embedding <laughs> doing these things by doing these things we are reducing the size of my embedding vectors and this is the this is the main concept in the generative ai because in the generative ai my model is trained on a very huge data very huge if you talk about the if you talk about the chat gpt the chat gpt is trained almost all the data available over the internet 